<laughs> so I told him, nah, man, nah, man, get off the ledge. Demon Slayer hasn't finished airing. <laughs> that dumbass. Nobody likes a jobless otaku, darling. Get to work. Uh, but uh, onto the video. Demon Slayer's Hashira training arc is currently being released. Picking up a short time after Nezuko survived the sun, there are efforts underway in the Demon Slayer Corps to ensure Nezuko's safety if Muzan decides to come after her. Hate to burst your bubble this quick, but I hate it that the intro was only okay. <laughs> Everything else was great. First class animation, gorgeous art design, and the driving force behind the story is immediately engaging. Protect Nezuko. You better be on board. So poor Tanjiro got all sorts of messed up in the swordsmith village, leaving him bedridden for the entirety of the first episode. It's not Super interesting what he gets up to laying there, but the show makes sure we know one thing for certain. Our boy Tanjiro, he's hungry. <laughs> Why did I make that so weird? I don't know, but it's alluding to him becoming more powerful, perhaps turning into something resembling a Hashira. I mean, you can't tell by Tanjiro's temperament, but he's hardly a fresh recruit. Now he's a battered veteran. It wouldn't be unbelievable to me if they just promoted him straight to Hashira. Tanjiro's seen some shit, yo. Death, destruction, and gore has been Tanjiro's past few years. To say nothing of Daki, who would make anybody a man. I can tell you're not a Hashira. Stop it. No, someone with your intellectual fortitude wouldn't be interested in such trivial matters. I know what you've been waiting for. <laughs> Zenitsu, you want me to talk about the sleeping samurai? He's back. Nobody cares. Oh, okay. yeah! okay. Inosuke. Just kidding, I like Zenitsu. Both him and Inosuke return to headquarters, of course meaning that along with Tanjiro, the Devil's Trio has been reunited, and the start of this arc is firing on all cylinders. Not that it wouldn't be without them. Hell, at the very beginning, we see far more Hashira demon-killing action than all the other instances of such engagements combined. Two Hashira we know little about take center stage. I didn't know their names. I still don't think I can say them properly. Igoro and Sanimi, they are some seriously badass motherfuckers. Iguro Obanai Sanemi Shinazugawa Yeah, I was close. You really get the feeling that Demon Slayer is heading to its ultimate conclusion here. All the characters we've grown fond of have gathered in one place. Even Flashy's here with all his wives. I want a harem. It's exciting to see all these characters come together, but like I said, it feels conclusive. Troubling because Demon Slayer is not afraid to kill people we hold dear. <laughs> I'm afraid. And that's a wonderful thing. As you might be aware, when there's big anime coming out, I absolutely refuse to read their manga. For me, I gotta finish the story in whatever form I started it in. But with my Google level research, I can tell you there's likely only gonna be one season after this. Thinking about it makes my heart beat erratically. No spoilers necessary, we only have two things that need to be done in the world of Demon Slayer. Protect our darling Nezuko and kill this sick, uncultured swine. Okay, Michael Jackson died a while ago. That's such a tired joke, but I'm not gonna get sick of it. I found him. None of it's true, it's BS. They made it up. Core headquarters is gearing up for war. If Muzan can capture Nezuko and figure out a way to allow demons into the sunlight, it's all over! So we all best prepare for the carnage that's to come. My review or first impressions of Demon Slayer, the Hashira training arc is over, but there are little things 
that I, I can't not mention. For starters, oh my god, Tanjiro got Rengoku's sword hilt. Why does this show want to make me cry so bad? Here's to hoping he uses that sword to gut this basketball-headed dweeb. Interestingly enough, in this arc, Giyu is being developed. You know that guy who recruited Tanjiro originally, then pissed off for almost every single episode after? He doesn't feel like he's deserving of the Hashiro ranking, so he quits. Tandro's like, try, I dare you. <laughs> the context is way back in season one, if you remember the ghost duo that trained Tandro to slice the rock, the boy in that scenario, Sabito, is basically the only reason Giyu survived the final selection. He killed all the demons and then died to the big one, which Tandro later dispatched. All that information certainly makes me feel empathetic towards Giyu, but as someone who has watched a lot of anime, and I know Demon Slayer, I'm pretty sure they're gonna kill him, and there's no picture of the author on the internet, so I can't go beat the crap out of him. Oh, is this being shown in court? The last thing I'll bring up is that we get context to Tanjiro's markings. I don't know why I never thought about it or recognized its significance. I should have. He had a scar, it disappeared and turned into a badass flame tattoo. What is wrong with me? The mark is something of legend in the Demon Slayer Corps. Those who manifest it can spread similar markings to any friendly combatants in close proximity during battle. This almost has a blessing effect on the fighter, giving them an insane power boost, arguably making Lord Tanjiro Kamado the single most valuable asset in the Corps. Besides, you know, the people who make the swords, um, the Hashira, uh, <laughs> With that being said, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your American Otaku. This, of course, has been my co-host, Zero Two, and I'll catch you next time.